Hey Sunshines! It's me, Jusheen. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So for today's vlog, this is actually kind of different and I'm very, very excited to film this since I will be talking about my course in college. And if you guys don't know yet, I am in first year college. I'm taking up Bachelor of Arts in Political Science. I'm very, very proud of myself because it's morning and the lighting is really good. So I decided to just squat here and talk about this <laughs> i was watching how to get away with murder and then my drive and my ideas to film this video is so sharp right now so i decided to just film so for this vlog i actually want this to be different i want this to be more engaging because it's so hot i'm so distracted <laughs> it's just 9 a.m but it's so hot already in order for you guys to receive as much insights i decided to contact some of my poli friends um we have 10 of them 11 of them but and we're here to help you understand what political science is in a way that it won't be centered on my ideas alone we're all first years and we're upcoming second years in university of san carlos and i also want to put a disclaimer guys that our views and opinions do not necessarily reflect on the institution that we're in i also don't want this vlog to sound like a campaign for University of San Carlos. I am doing this out of my own initiative and I wanna help some of you guys. Most of the people who are sending me DMs on Instagram actually are kind of confused whether or not you'll pursue Polsai. So I hope this vlog will help you decide. But yeah, that's the main point of this vlog. This is not a campaign video. This is not a group project. Super in it. I think it's a bad idea I filmed this morning. I ask you on Instagram to send me questions that you guys are curious about and some of you guys are asking about laws and all we're not law students yet we are still in Paul's side this is a bachelor's degree and you can't ask me about legal advices yet maybe we have ideas because we do study laws we study oh my god but yeah we do study laws we have ideas about laws and policies but we don't study exactly law pol law and policies alone yet that's more into law school so i'm actually gonna tackle about that later like along the way i'm just gonna say the things that are relevant from the discourse first i'm gonna answer some questions that are directly addressing to me why political science at Idrushin? and if not Polsai, what would it be? Political science because I've always wanted to become a lawyer and when I asked people as to what the best pre-law course, they told me it's political science. Before even K-12 existed, my mind is already fixated in taking up political science in college. And if not Polsai, I would have taken up international relations. What books do we have to buy or read? My answer is the constitution. I know I mentioned that you will not be exactly tackling about laws and policies Pero, Paul Sai talks a lot about law and policy. So, the book I have here from Hector De Leon and Hector De Leon Jr. This is not required in political science in USC. I just got this because you will be needing a lot of references about the Constitution, Bill of Rights, all of that. It's actually 600 from Rex Bookstore. This book basically explains the Constitution in layman's terms. Um, every inch of the constitution, the Bill of Rights, um, the articles, and the sections. And before your classes will start, you have to read the constitution. So that's something that I didn't do. Now, how do I personally deal with academic stress? So I'm obviously a vlogger. I do upload in YouTube, not as regularly as before I entered college. And the reason for that is this. My course is very demanding. I spend four to five hours editing just one vlog. If you argue that I have the weekends or I have Friday to film or edit, um, that's where I actually make bawi to myself. Um, during the weekends, that's where I de-stress. I go out at night, I spend time with my family, I spend time with my friends. You always have to remind yourself now you love yourself, you give time to yourself. I tend to be hard on myself. I blame myself a lot. Nga nung wala ko nagbasa, nga nung wala ko katubag, anong a particular question. On the weekends, dira ko mubawi sa akong self. Now it's actually okay to not be perfect all the time. Maybe something just happened, something just came up to my mind. And during the first sem, I actually gained a lot of weight. I wasn't really happy with how I gained weight because that was super unhealthy. I just eat sweets. Do you guys need to be competitive and critical in essays or recitations? In order for you to become a good debater, you have to be competitive. You have to cite sources properly. Even if it's recitations, it is better for you to cite facts 
and as to where you get your facts from. For example, we're asked about what politics is and my answer is based on an author. So I have to cite the author and as much as possible, I have to tell the year. But that's so much already. That's like A plus na na. Pero that's ideally your answer. It should be like that. In terms of answering recitations or essays critically, that's one of the most vital things that you have to learn. As much as possible, you have to avoid answering based on your feelings because that's a big no-no. You have to cite facts all the time. I don't know if I'm making sense. Actually, my thoughts are so out there. If you guys notice, this vlog is a little bit different. I want this to be really motivational, not only for those who want to be in Polsai, but for literally everyone who is dealing the same stress as mine. So for the following questions, I will be inserting some clips that my constituents, <laughs> my constituents, that my friends sent me their own opinion or answers. And I also will insert some of my parts. So I hope you guys will pay attention to them as well. Why Polsai and why in USC? How is Polsai different in USC? So I chose Polsai because of how the city of politics and governance excites me, as well as I can be educated with the mandated rules of our country. Why USC? Because I believe that USC is one of the most prestigious universities in Cebu. They don't just confine their students with classroom learning activities, but also allow them to engage and immerse in outside campus activity. I wanted to be a lawyer. I really want to be a lawyer. And my uncles who are now practicing law recommend that and encourage me to enroll in USC. Its level of difficulty makes it different. They believe that learning doesn't just stop in four walls. It should be expounded and should be um, applied. What's the hardest part of being a Polsai student? Most definitely reading all reading materials. And by the way, Porostisha back to back. It's not simple. The words used, the ideas, ideologies are all complex. Since I came from STEM in senior high school, the transition alone was the hardest for me. From formulas and numbers to public speaking, to essay writing, to a whole level of confidence, and a bunch of reading materials. In our majors, we do a lot of recitations. Like, when I say a lot, a lot, like every single day. So you have to read every single day. The topics we have for our visits are the things the teacher did not discuss yet. You are expected to read all the reading materials in advance. I remember one of my professors said that if you were not able to study days before the, the recitations, just don't enter the class or else. I cry a lot during the first semester. I cry every day. I cried myself to sleep. Everyone in the class is so smart. I tend to ask myself, why can't I do that? We don't have a schedule, Manggod, if when you are called, for example, in Monday, kamo na grupo for kanina reading material. No, we are called randomly. So if you have mastered this reading material, yet you did not read this reading material, and you are called for this one at random, all your efforts for this reading material would be thrown to the trash. The best thing about Posay is that you get to be challenged every day and you don't get to go home without learning something new. Um, the very supportive department. They really care for the welfare and mental stability of the students. Recently, one of our professors sent us a very long message online. It was about five to six pages. She reminded us, it was very touching because she reminded us of what are our roles and responsibilities towards informing people. Do you need to memorize laws and do you have to be good at memorization? This is actually one of the most common misconceptions about Polsai. We just need to familiarize the codes and the provisions of the specific law given by our teacher. We do tackle a lot of bills, RAs. Um, in case digesting, we do GRs. For now, we just read, read, read analyze and let provisions of the article sink in. Before, my mindset is that um, I have to memorize, prove me wrong because to be good in exams, you have to understand your lessons, okay? You have to understand the discussions. And you don't have to be good in memorization, you just have to be good in reading comprehension. Favorite article in the Constitution? Well, my favorite article in the Constitution is Article 3. Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights. It serves as a foundation and framework of human rights. I believe that oppression will be lessened if the Filipinos will learn and be informed about their rights. Whether you're rich, poor, powerful, not powerful, if you violate someone of their rights, you are gonna get jailed. And above all else, as what my professors always say, 
the constitution is perfect as it is. Only the implementation is flawed. Are all political science students woke or do you have to be woke in political science? I wouldn't say you have to be woke to be a policy student, but you have to be at a certain extent very knowledgeable about like social issues um being in posai you will get to learn the things that happens in our government you get to learn how the system works the checks and balances basically ang imong baruganan is not only based on your feelings or based on what you hear from the outside the the things we read on social media media are mere um opinions of other people that sometimes are not even um, factual or they don't have facts to support that. As a political science student, that is really, really important that you know what you're talking about because misinformation is not really good. You have to be politically aware, politically engaged, politically knowledgeable because, you know, there are times that people will ask you, like, what is your opinion about these things? And of course, you don't want to just go say, like, you have to say something that will actually impact the lives of other people. Best weapon to survive in Polsai. Time management, Rajut Paranako. Time management and proper study habits. Always prioritize ACADs than everything else. Make sure that you give time and rewards to yourself. Like for example, Tagay. But the topics are still political. Ayog inom if na ay exams uma. What do graduates of Polsai do aside from proceeding to law school? Well, simple. Magminyo. No, I'm just kidding. So people think that if you're gonna take a Polsai, it is mandatory for you to go to law school. No, it's not. Polsai can be a bachelor's degree all alone and you don't have to go to law school if you don't want to. You can become a political analyst wherein you would research on political systems. Or you can work in law firms. International relations like diplomats or political campaign managers. You can also become a public relations specialist wherein you would influence public opinion about your clients. Also work in LGUs and civil service and any other governmental agencies or even become a politician. Why political science instead of legal management? If there's legal management in San Carlos, I'll probably take it. But unfortunately, there's none. Well, I actually asked yesterday if na ba tayo legal management. Legal management was a major in political science from last year. They removed the legal management. So now it's international relations and LPS, law and policy studies. We reached third year, we are required to major one of the two strands in POSI, which we can choose from International Relations and Foreign Service, which is your preparatory ground if you want to pursue your career in Foreign Service, or the LPS, or Law and Policy Studies, which is also your preparatory ground if you want to pursue law. You're actually going to take a test on which strand suits you better. Is POSI the best pre-law course? For me, uh, yes. Because as early as first year, we're now being taught about how the political system works. We tackle a lot of laws and policies. The history of Philippine politics, the ideal public administration. About the Philippine constitution, the function of the government, the political behavior of the people. Just to back up our understanding in a particular discourse. We basically case digest and we're just in first year. I believe that these things are the pillars in studying law. My only advice for the upcoming political science students is to never be afraid to speak and stand for what you believe. I know, Papa. Joke on. Um, don't cram analytic papers and assignments because tendency it will stress you more. I just need you to be 100% totally sure about it. Commit to Palsai or love Palsai. When you truly love something or someone, you will never lose passion loving it or that person learn to love reading like you have to read in your free time because the reading materials baga kayo guys you can spend like a whole week probably reading the materials given and you would still not finish it trust in yourself and ask help if you don't understand something surround yourself with good friends you're gonna need a lot of backup every now and then in a classroom setting where all of you are smart people all of you has something to say with everything that's happening around you don't be too intimidated because trust me when I say this, there will be a point in your Polsai life 
where you can see yourself at the lowest point there will always be people who are smarter than you that's a fact and that's the reality of life be strong okay you have to pick up yourself every time you fail you will really be disheartened by what is happening but of course you have to be strong and comprehend all those to apply to the future what could be done and that is really important do not dwell too much on that failed exam failed recitations even me when i started pol sci these people who are in this video are actually really smart people and when they started talking in recitations and like during the first days I was immediately down because I see myself not as knowledgeable and competent as these people. And what I did, I just made it an inspiration. So basically, Posai and Kim Pass is pretty much most of our daily lives. As we always say, everything is political. Be the voice of the voiceless. And that is really, really important as a political science student. We were like programmed to criticize what's wrong. And it's not wrong to criticize. But the problem is not everyone would understand this concept. If you don't have the heart in it, then you don't have the will and the drive to serve the people. So when we try to share what we know, we are often shut down and misunderstood. So it is a vital course in aiding the country into a bright future ahead in which progress awaits. I hope you enjoy your ride in Posai because this will extremely change you and your perspectives in some ways. But that's okay. This is life. We get to learn new things every day. So finally, we are done with this vlog. For those of you guys who are still questioning whether or not you'll pursue Posai, I hope this vlog helped you. And if you decide to pursue Posai, I wish you the best. Best of luck. And if you don't pursue Posai, it's okay. Um, I still wish you the best as well in your future endeavors. I would like to thank my friends for being so down and answering the questions. I hope we answered everything. And if there are things that we didn't get to answer, please comment down below if you have comments, if you have criticisms. We welcome criticisms. If you decide to put personal attacks down below, I will immediately block you from commenting into any of my videos because as much as possible we i don't entertain ad hominem here in my channel that is it guys like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already visit my social media accounts it's at jishin kaila so guys also a little tip don't tell them about this but you have to study particularly in article 6 7 8 6 to 8 are actually about the legislative executive and judiciary and article 10 is about local government and article 11 is about um, accountability of officers please study that